Hello and welcome to Collider 101. So it really starts on the front page where you have a choice between instant play mode and between logging in if we already have an account or creating a new player if we want to take uh, a little bit more seriously because you have more advantages as a uh, complete player but to play the game all you need is instant mode and that doesn't require an account so we'll click straight into there because it's a great way to get started so inside the arena we have the pylons main game items here and the holes now what these holes do is really create the result for the game all of the coins that go into the up end up receiving the proportional amount of all of the coins that went into the negative 100 and negative 50 percent holes in which case uh, 50 or 100 percent of what goes into those holes is redistributed proportionately by value to the people who had coins go into the up holes the return holes you get it back straight away and you can keep going so in instant play mode you create an address for each throw and then that gets played through the next game and the result gets automatically sent out to your payout address and how we do that is we want to select one of the instant throw coins and say I want to play with Doug so I'm going to choose Doug here and now as I just click it once and then drag around the screen it's going to create a trail which is our entry trajectory so I can make the coin aim at the up hole oh well that didn't work exactly as I wanted so I'll just go here go a little bit slower maybe oh that's a little better because I know that there's going to be a little bit going on in the game and it takes a little bit while for these flippers to open up and that is really where the strategy of the game comes in that you can look into later so when I press confirm I'm going to get a payouts window where I select which coin I'm going to get paid out in so I want to get paid out in uh, Dog again and so then it will present me with a box where I can enter the payout address which will be in Dog. Here's my address here. Copy the clipboard. There we go, there's the Dog address. I can give this particular shot, particular throw a name. I'll call it 101 test and then I agree to the terms. Generate an address. Now I have a Dog coin address. I chose to play in Doge that I can send to this address and I'll copy that address and take it over to my Doge wallet which is still here and we go send and I send to this address uh, so I'm going to paste that address in there so we can see here the minimum play is 2000 Doge so I'm going to send just a little bit more than that to make sure that it reaches the minimum no coin was sent beautifully. That's great. Now I can go back to the game and I can say I have made the transfer. And it will ask me if I wanted to wait to watch it come into the game or put in the email. You can do both. If you put in the email, you'll receive uh, a report on what happened and all of the transactions that were made as a result of your payouts because they all get automatically withdrawn to the payout address so I'll put in support doecolada.com my doe coin has been confirmed already I got a little message in the back there my doe coin has been confirmed so now my doe coin is sitting there it's pending Oh, I got a notification that it's pending because it needs uh, a few confirms Doug uh, Bitcoin requires one confirm some of the other coins require a few more while waiting for that to confirm I explain the preview controls so this is very useful in the pregame state up here we can see up here this is the preview that we're currently viewing so if I go and press so I can also just go into the game environment and just press the preview button by looking at them and then if I go up here I can see oh, I'm proving position 3 and then I can go back and forward in the positions to see who's 
playing in the game and when they're arriving and if I press the P button then this is just a little shortcut up here it's the same as pressing preview here uh, on the coin itself it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, turn the previews on and off and uh, scroll through them this is a very good button over here too, the scoreboard so the scoreboard is currently giving us a indication of how much has been thrown into the game, how much has been confirmed and we can see the shock has thrown three PPC, uh, three PPC throws, and for a total of three PPC, one start, and a total of ten, one Bitcoin dark throw, one point six, and forty points. Okay, so our dog has been confirmed, and that's exactly how I planned it to enter the game. It'll come into position eight. I can see the scoreboard here. And if I go back, I can replay previous games. So once that game has enough throws, we can see in the top here it has a readout of how many are needed to start. If I threw in 10 more times, then the game would start. There's the back button here, very important part of the interface also. And then it reveals all the extra panels. Then you'll be able to access entirely uh, when you have a full account. But in the instant play mode, you can still use the game navigation panel and the uh, leaderboard to see historical data. And that's all great once you get a bit more into it. And watch previous games. So this is what happened once the game starts. We can use the, the scroll bar up here to skip around the game and to replay certain sections like for example this one here <laughs> it just got rammed in to the uh, to the lose hole scoreboard uh, is is also available here where we can see inputs and outputs and uh, who and the final amount someone is up or down as well as the coins uh, has their result then the ladder changes and will reflect uh, the final the final score now these controls up here are now for the timeline bar so we can go through frames one at a time so we can pause uh, rewind play backwards these uh, ends of the of the timeline bar here will speed up I'll slow down playback so now we can replay so now we're replaying you know at a real minimum uh, speed real slow and if I click this a few times here we're gonna speed up until like fast forward uh, at 2000 frames the overtime kicks in and at 3000 frames sudden death kicks in so you know they're real important parts of the game to look out for have fun guys